Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here in New York City. I got invited to one of Cameron Mitchell's specialty restaurants called Ocean Prime. I'm gonna take you behind the brand, behind the scenes, and show you what it takes to set up one of these luxury restaurants. You're getting ready for lunch and then pretty soon dinner. Uh, let's go check it out. My name is Cameron Mitchell. I'm the founder and CEO of Cameron Mitchell Restaurants, and you're watching Behind the Brand. Well, thanks for having us. It smells amazing. I wish you could smell this right through the camera, but um, this is one of the hottest places to be in New York City. It's one of many restaurants you've opened and are running. Um, I usually ask my guests, how'd you get this job? Uh, really, the story goes like this. So I was um, uh, almost last in my class in high school. I finished 592 out of 597. I had a 1.05 uh, grade point average, and I was senior class president to boot. Uh, this is a very affluent high school in Columbus, and I was lived in the have-not section. But uh, so uh, all the kids there, 90% of the kids, uh, uh, grow up and go off to college. We're after college. You see the college signs in the yard and everything else. And I didn't want to do that because I didn't know what I wanted to do. And so in high school. I always say I had the uh, can do, but I didn't have the will do. So summer came and I was working in restaurants, living with my mom, you know, working for beer money and, and going nowhere fast and, and not sure what I wanted to do or who I was and 18 years old and I was, uh, went to open a new restaurant in Columbus. I got hired on in the opening team and this restaurant was super, super busy. I mean, it would do you know, 1,500 people on a Friday, Saturday night, I mean, just jammed. And, and so uh, I was there uh, as a line cook and I had been suspended for three days because uh, I couldn't get to work on time and, and I was on probation for 30 day probation. And during the middle of this period of time, I was working on, on a Friday shift change. I was working as AM cook and I was gonna come back and be a PM host that night. And it was during this shift change uh, that I had my epiphany. I looked across the line, it was pandemonium in the kitchen and I said, this is what I'm gonna do the rest of my life. I love this. And so I went home that night and I uh, wrote out my goals. I was gonna to go to the Culinary Institute of America. Uh, I'd heard about that. I was gonna graduate and by the time I was 23 in five years, I was gonna become an executive chef and 24, I was gonna become a general manager, 26, a regional manager. And by 30, I'd be vice president of operations. And by 35, I'd be president of a restaurant company. And so I woke my mom up at one in the morning and I. Uh, showed her my goals and I went back to work the next morning. Uh, on Friday I was the laziest guy in the kitchen working for beer money and on Saturday I was the hardest working guy in the kitchen working for my career and the rest is history. That's amazing. So did you actually have it all penciled out? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep, she kept that piece of paper, so yeah. I didn't think about it being, I was just gonna be president of a restaurant company and I had another epiphany several years later when I decided it was gonna be my restaurant company, so. Yeah, it's interesting that you felt you had to go to culinary school because you, you didn't end up, you know, getting behind the grill right. or cutting the veggies, you ended up running the place. Well, I, I knew I wanted to be president of a restaurant company and I was working in the kitchen and I, I, that's where I started in the kitchen, but I knew uh, if I want to be president of a restaurant company, I better know about food. So I went to culinary school and I became executive chef at one point in time and I have a, a good food background, not nearly as good as some of our corporate chefs today, but I have a, a good strong food background. Yeah, I think there's a really important business lesson there. You know, a lot of people want to kind of shortcut, mm -hmm. take the quickest route to the top and it sounds like you did it right. Like you paid your dues, but you also uh, learned right. and you wanted to understand the entire business right. so that you could run the business. Right. And, and I think maybe that's a really important business lesson for whether you're in consumer electronics or automobiles or... Well, in particular today, college campuses today, they're teaching entrepreneurism at every college USA. And you got these young people that want to come out at 22 and they want to own their own business. And they want to start their business. And, Yes, there's needles in the haystack that are successful like that, but uh, generally speaking, uh, you have to get experience first and, and work for some extraordinary companies and extraordinary people and learn and maybe even see a niche to get into. But, um, and that's what I did. I started on my, on my own at 29, but I had, I had a good pedigree at that point in time. But uh, uh, it's, uh, I don't see any shortcuts in this business. Yeah. You have to go through it. 